Hello and happy Friday. It is November 2nd. It's Friday. It's Phyllis coming to you. I haven't talked to you guys in a little while, so I wanted to say hi and hope you are doing well. And you know, we have 59 days left in 2018. Can you believe it? Wait a minute. Somebody likes to get on camera. Chandler says hello. Can you say hi to everybody? Hello. Are you excited that it's 2018 and we only have 59 days left? He's very excited. But that's not, I didn't come to talk to you about my cute puppy. What I did come to talk to you about is yes, there are 59 days left to this year, two months. And we all have a choice with what we do with that time. I know that this can be a hard time for a lot of people in terms of staying on your health goals because we are now, you know, now that Halloween's over, it's officially the holiday season and we go f into Thanksgiving in just a few weeks. And I feel like it's earlier this year, but we go into Thanksgiving in just a few weeks. And then of course, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, and Diwali is coming up next week. Every, every holiday is coming up. And with these holidays, a lot of it focuses around food. There's parties and celebrations, and I get it. I really do. And this is a hard time of year for me until I learned what to do and what not to do. And then I didn't gain that holiday weight. It's not easy, but it requires change. It requires thinking different. And most importantly, here is the biggest tip I'm going to give you. It requires doing something differently. And I know that you know this up here, but how many of you have really done something different? Take an action, real action to do something different and change the results that you have or haven't gotten. Um, a lot of people that I speak to have, some of them have even signed up in one of my groups and then they'll, I'm gonna be honest with you now, uh, and they'll tell me, mm, yeah, I tried that and it's not working. So, I, of course, ask more questions and I try to get to get to the bottom of what their issue could be because, of course, I know this works. I'm living proof. I am not a professional fitness person. I was overweight my entire life until three years ago when I just did something different. I took action and I decided to make a change and I did it. I didn't just say, yes, I'm going to do it. I actually did it. And that's the difference. So when people tell me that it's not working and I, I delve a little deeper, I find out what's not working is them. Kind of harsh. It sounds kind of mean, but it's kind of the truth. The only thing that doesn't work is not following the workouts or not following your meal plan or not drinking an amazingly delicious superfood shake that gives you every nutrient that you ever could need in a day all wrapped up in a delicious cold glass of chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, or any other flavor you want. Um, so what's not working with that? You. If it doesn't work, it's because you're not consistent with your nutrition. You're not consistent with your working out. Um, and quite frankly, the biggest piece of that is nutrition. Eating right has more to do with the results than working out. I'd rather see you work out two days a week and eat right five or six than the opposite. Because guess what, I used to be that person. I used to work out six, seven days a week and not really focus too much on my eating because hey, I was running and I was working out. So, you know, I could kind of eat what I want, right? No, no. And guess what? The older we get, and you guys know I'm over 50, the older we get, the more that's not true. Hormones kick in and, you know, we're not able to kick off those pounds that we could in the 20s and 30s and maybe even 40s. No, it doesn't work like that. You have got to eat right. It doesn't mean never cheating. It doesn't mean never allowing yourself a treat, but it does mean getting real. And the most important message I want to pass on to you today is you got to not just think different. You have to do different. That's what I'm here for. As your coach, I help you do different. First, to help you think different, I help you think right, as opposed to maybe what you have been doing. I give you tips, I give you hints, I give you support nonstop, I give you workouts, I give you, um, I give you meal plans and grocery lists and everything that you need for success. 
and all you have to do is follow the plan. But here's the thing, don't think of this year as over. And did you know that the typical person, the typical person gains up to 10, excuse me, I got choked up. They gain up to 10 pounds during the holiday season. That is mind blowing. 10 pounds over the next two months. You know what that's going to leave you on January 1st? Depressed, guilty, anxious, overwhelmed, like you want to throw in the towel before you even get in the ring. But guess, and you'd be 10 pounds more in the hole as to what you want to lose and 10 pounds further away from your goal. So why do that to yourself? There is a way to survive the holidays and not gain 10 pounds. I promise you. Again, I'm living proof. I promise you don't have to put that weight on. And you can still have fun and still go to parties and still have fun at all the celebrations, including Thanksgiving, which is a food-focused holiday, and I love it. But there really is a way, and I can show you how, but you have to have that mindset that, oh, forget it, it's November 2nd, and you know I might as well just throw in the towel, and I'll start in January. So many people say they're going to start in January. Hi, please say hello if you're out there. Let me know what you think, and, and comment. Let me know if you get what I'm saying. You know, so many people, as I said, they come into this time of year, and they just think, well, what's the use of starting now? Because, you know, it's the holidays, and and you know what good is it going to do? It's going to do a lot of good. Hey, Michelle, so good to see you. Thanks for joining. It's going to do you a lot of good to start because, like I said, you're not going to put on those extra 10 pounds. And even at the worst, if you don't lose weight, you will maintain. That is like not gaining the 10 pounds that you could have gained. And I'm telling you, if you do this stuff, you will lose the weight. You will lose some weight. Even if it's not as much as you would have lost at another time of year, you're still going to be better off. You're still going to get those healthy habits kicked in, in time for the new year when everybody and their mothers, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, kids, everyone wants to get on the health bandwagon then. Because it's a time of new beginnings, new this, new that. Yes, it is. But guess what? So is today. Hey, Michelle, how are you? So is today. Today is a new beginning. You know, November... Ninth could be a new beginning. It doesn't have to be an even day. It doesn't have to be the first of the month, the last of the month. Your today starts now. Your beginning starts now. You get to make that choice. I am the one who will help you get there and be with you every step of the way, but you get to make the choice as to when your today starts, when your beginning starts. Let this be a new beginning for you. You know, and, and so what if we start now, you're going to be that much further along in January. You're going to feel better. You're going to know what to do. You're going to be empowered and confident. You're going to look hot during the holidays, FYI, because you'll be losing some weight. And who doesn't want that? Guys, you have 59 days left in this year. Why not make the most of it? And I don't like being salesy, but this is too good not to share. Oh, thank you, Michelle. I really, really appreciate that. And yes, you are right. Like, I'm so glad that you're hearing the message. This is about encouraging you, supporting you, being positive. When you want, I am the kind of coach that I will tell it to you like it is, okay? And it doesn't mean harsh, but like I said earlier, either you're working or you're not working towards your goals. There really is no in between. It's really time to stop making excuses and make the time and it is making the time it's not finding it because you'll never find the time I don't find the time I had three other things I wanted to do today and it's already where I live it's five after five o'clock so you will never find the time when have you ever just had this hour block of time where you're like oh I have nothing to do Pfft, no one especially moms um so forget that part you have to make the time, not make excuses. Excuses are all of the reasons why you can't get done what you want to and should get done. We all do it. I used to make excuses all the time. And let's, I want to be honest, I make excuses for other things, not my fitness. That is my holy grail. That is what fuels me. That is what makes me feel great. It empowers me. It gives me confidence. It eases my anxiety. It is my stress relief. I work out more 
Hey Mary, how are you? I work out more for the mental benefits than the physical. Absolutely 120%. The physical, of course, is great, but mental is, for me, so important. So that part I have down on lock, but there's plenty of things I make excuses for. Eating is one of them. I'm not the best eater, but I try my best most of the time. And that's what I want from you. That is what I want from you. Thanks, Michelle. Yes, exactly. I Perfect. Treat it like an appointment. I tell people that all the time, Michelle. Treat this, treat your workout like it's a doctor's appointment or a work meeting that you can't miss. Would you tell your boss, ah, eh, I don't have the time for that meeting? Pfft, darn right, you know, because you wouldn't be working there anymore. You know, if you're a doctor, if you have an appointment at 10 o'clock on Tuesday, do you not show up? You don't just not show up because it's an appointment you have. You make it in advance. So make your workout appointment. You not even pencil it in, you pen it in. You put it in your phone. You do whatever you need to do to make sure that you get it done. But here's the thing. You have to have that mind shift. And I help you with all the rest. But you have to be the one to reach out to me. I'll happily reach out to you. Drop your name below, message me, and I'll reach out. You better believe it. And Because I'm passionate. I hope you can see that. I'm passionate about helping people feel their best and therefore look their best. Because what comes from that is it's unlimited possibilities when you feel and look your best. I'm telling you. And they, they, do some, they do go together. They do go together. You know, there's plenty of people who are thin who don't look their best. It's not about, it's being healthy. It's not about thin. I don't care about thin. I don't. I care about healthy. And healthy equals looking your best. It just shines from within. Um, you know, look at me. I don't wear any makeup, really. Well, I have a little bit of lipstick on, but like, I don't wear, I just like get excited. I am vitalized by just being healthy. And I want that for you, even just a little bit of it for you. You don't have to make, you know, be a health coach, you know, but you're welcome to. That's certainly something that I can help you with as well. But I'm more um, concerned with those of you who just make the excuses, who don't give yourself the opportunity to be your best. You just make the excuses and think you can't do it. You can, but you have to start. That's just how it is. And as I was saying earlier, this is no excuses November. That is what we are enforcing. It's no excuses November. That's simple. That means there are no excuses to getting you to the goal you want. There's no excuse not to start now. None. None. Because I have everything that you want, and I have it at on this week, this month, not this year. This month there is a promotion, and if you want to save money and get fit, I'm your girl. Twenty dollars off everything. I mean, if there's never been a better time, I don't know when it would have been. It has to be now. I want to help you. Let me help you. Let me be that beacon of light that maybe you think you're in it all alone. Maybe you think no one really gets your situation. You know, people, again, they see me that I'm, I'm fit and, you know, think, oh, it's so easy for her. No, it's not. I used to be 40 plus pounds heavier than this. I've put, today, I think, today, look below on my newsfeed, scroll down, and I did post um, a before and after picture of another time of where I was three years ago before I started this. I was heavy. I had aches and pains everywhere. But the only difference between you and me is that I made a choice. And I said, enough is enough. I'm sick of this. I don't feel good. I sure as heck don't look good. It is time. And guess what? That's, I just made the decision. Hey, Jen, how are you? I just made the decision. And... I didn't just make the decision up here. I did something about it. Like I said in the beginning, I did something. I took action. And that's all I need. All I need for you is to reach out to me, message me. That is step one. How are you, beautiful? Um, and, oh, thank you, Michelle. You are so, so sweet. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good at this because I'm passionate about it. And I know what I'm talking about. I know 
not only from researching, studying, learning, I know from living it. And that is the truth, living it. I talk the talk, I walk the walk, I do what I need to do. And you don't have to do the, I post my exercises every day. You do not have to do the workouts I do. You do not. So don't get scared off by that. Don't think, oh, she's great, I couldn't do that. Then don't. There's 600 workouts. 600. And guess what? I get my workouts for 27 cents a day. 27 cents a day. That's a quarter. That's a quarter and two pennies. You could find that walking on the street. You're not going to join the gym for that much. I can tell you that right now. You're not going to get a, and by the way, I'm free to you. So you're not going to get a coach that's going to take you hand by hand and go on this journey with you. Just give it a shot. That's all I can tell you guys. I am here to light a fire under you. I am here to give you that little bit of tough love, like I said, to tell you that you got to do something. You got to change not just your thinking, but your actions. So let this be the time. Don't wait to 2019. Yeah, I'll be here in 2019 without a doubt. If, if you're going to wait till January, here I am. But I'm here now. I'm here every day. I'll be here November 3rd, November 4th, December 1st, December 5th. I'm here every day and I want to help you now. If you start now, think about how much further ahead you'll be in December and think about how much further ahead you'll be in January when everyone else is just starting. Be the change you want to see. All right. Okay. My challenge to you is to just reach out and ask a question. Just reach out and message me, ask a question, or if you want to post it below, I'd love to hear from you. Just just a question. That's all it is. If you want to have a conversation, that's fine too. I, I'll tell you this. The one thing I won't do is sell you. I'm not selling you. What I am doing is informing you, inviting you, and welcoming you to a different, better, healthier life. All right? So I can't wait to hear from you. I hope that you have a great Friday night and an even better weekend. All right? Reach out and I'll talk to you guys soon. No excuses, November.